in this video the requirement is user should select end date after the start date here user selects 23rd as the start date that means end date should be after 20, uh, 23rd if he selects before that we should throw an error okay for this we need to create client script here create client script and before that uh, once check the table name like here my table name is custom table 1 and the, uh, the backend value of start date is u underscore start underscore underscore date and the backend value of end date is u underscore u underscore end underscore date right click on end date uh, right click on any field if you want this field backend value right click on that you will find the backend value. This is the backend value. Okay. Now, here, create client script. I am creating client script for that requirement. here select your table here my table is you custom table one and search for your custom table one and select i am selecting type ui type as all and type is equal to on chain because whenever the user selects this and we should restrict the user to select before the start date that's why that means we should select we should write on on change type okay here select your uh, field name as end field okay now come here and first get the value of start date because we are comparing with start date end date that's why I'm getting the start date. New, it means it will get the date. New date means it will get the date. If we if if we leave like this, it will give you the current date. But we want we don't want current date. We want that start date. Whatever first user selects the start date. First we gather this date. After that user selects this. After that we should compare end date with start date. Okay, that's why I'm writing. I want date type, and here g underscore form dot get value of what value I'm uh, what I want here. Right click on this field, you will get the field backend value. This is the backend value or value. You underscore start underscore date date. Okay, get the start date. selected by user now get the end date after selecting start date a user will select this date okay end date i'm getting this also here here the backend is backend value of end date is u underscore date end underscore date okay here get the end date selected by user okay now compare now compare this this two if end date dot value of is value of is less is less less compared to start date dot 
value of here comparing this if end date user selects end date that is less than that means if user selects if user first start uh, user select start date as 23rd that means less means before 23rd that means 21 22 before that 23rd if user selects this we should throw an error else it uh, continue the process okay like save the save the file For error, I am adding this one, and for clearing the value, it, if it, it if it is false, that means we should clear the value. Okay, we should not populate the value. We should clear the value. That's why I'm using clear value method. After that, I'm returning false. Okay, and save the save the client script. Now come to our form and reload the form. If user selected 24th as the start date and if he selects 25th, it should take. Okay, that means it's greater, greater than 20, 24th. If, has, if he selects 23rd, we should throw an error and, and we it should clear the value also. Okay. I hope you like this video. Thank you.